Hey everyone, um, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to uh, submit your app for grading and show you a couple more things about Proto.io. Um, you can see here that I have logged on to my Proto.io account and um, when I click on projects you should be able to see all the projects that you've worked on. Um, you've probably just been working on one so I'm just going to go ahead and click edit project and from there um, it's going to load your project, any project that you've been working on. You can see my project I've been working on is called Foodtography. And um, it's really about, um, I don't know if you've ever been in that moment where you're looking at a menu and you don't really know what to get. Um, I'm more of a visual person and so I would like to see pictures of my menu. And so I made this little app that lets you just basically uh, take a picture of the food that you get and then you can tag it with, um, the name of the dish and then also the price uh, and then um, I just thought you know sometimes I I don't want to read what's on a menu I want to see what's on a menu and so this is a, like kind of a crowdsourced way of getting digital menus all throughout town or whatever you wanted to do so you can see what I did I just created this little toolbar down here and uh, pretty easy to add those over here on the right you can just kind of click and drag uh, on the toolbar section um, let's see it's right here uh, so there's different toolbars that you could add, different navigations. You could just click and drag and see I created those. And um, actually what I did is I created this from a template. So you may see that there are different templates to use. Um, and then what I did is I just, you know, told it kind of what it is uh, here in some text. I got some pictures and then um, another random picture with um, a featured restaurant. Um, and these are going to be all local restaurants. Um, I also made a screen that uh, when you check in, um, you can see that not only did I create this toolbar, but I also created a um, an interaction area. And so you can you know grab that interaction area from your bar over here on the right. And so that when they click on this interaction, um, you can see that it will, um, I don't want to make another one, but you can see that what it did was it, uh, uh, when you touch it, you know, that's the trigger, touching it, um, it's going to go to a screen, and the screen that I've chosen is to go to screen one, which is my check-in screen, and I'm going to go ahead and save that, and now I'm going to go click on screens and go to screen one, and you can see over here on screen one that I've made this other little screen that says, you know, check in a uh, little Google map of what I want them to do when they go there. So hopefully you've gotten to that point where you've created two screens, you can create more if you want to. Uh, make sure there's images and uh, text and all the requirements for what's uh, going to be due on the app. But now I'm going to show you how to submit this and how to preview it. So up here in the right, I'm just going to make sure I click on Save Project and then I'm going to click Preview. So um, it'll give you a little preview of your app. And if you have the Proto.io app, um, if you download that, uh, from the App Store. Again, you just type in in the App Store proto.io and you can download it and then you can test it out on an actual mobile device uh, yourself and see how it works. Uh, but you can see with this prototype, um, all I told it to do for now was just when I click on the check-in button, it takes me to the check-in screen. You can see that they can search for their zip code and then check in at a spot. Uh, pretty simple app. So the way that I want you guys to turn this in is um, when you are ready pretty much finished with your project. Um, I want you to go ahead and um, that was a good way to test it out. Um, you're going to click on share. So I just went back to the other tab here so you can see the edit area. Uh, you're going to click share and we're going to publish it. Okay. When you click publish, it'll bring up this little box and we want this to share with everyone, which says no sign in required. Okay. So we're going to make sure it's shared with everybody. And then I'm going to click Publish. And as soon as that's done, it's going to go ahead and publish all my files and make sure and you should see your project has been published successfully. Let's go ahead and continue. And um, there we go. So now, um, basically, we've published it so that uh, your grad assistant can grade it. Uh, but now I need that link so that uh, we can put it into tracks. And I'm going to go ahead and click on View here. And that's going to give me basically the same thing I had up here, but it's a basically a little preview of it. Um, so once you have published it and made sure anyone can view it, then I'm going to grab this URL. Okay, I'm going to copy it. And just to make sure it works again, 
Yeah, it does. Okay. I'm going to go back to tracks and then I'm going to go to the build an app assignment. And I'm going to scroll down here and in the submission box, that is where I'm going to paste the link. Uh, make sure that you are submitting the link after you've published it um, and then view, click that view button. Now what I want you to do is also write a 250 word essay on um, what this app solves, the problem that it solves, and um, and the other things that I had mentioned up here in the assignment. Okay, so it's it's saying right here, plus a two to three paragraph, 250 word essay on explaining what problem your app would solve and why it would be use for, useful, and the other apps out there like yours, what sets yours apart. So I want you to basically write 250 words on that right here in the submission box. Then when you're done, you're just gonna press submit. And that's really how we're gonna submit these uh, for grading. So uh, good luck with your app. I hope you have fun with it. And um, Proto.io is a really great tool um, that I hope you can even build this prototype and maybe show a developer and maybe get your app developed. Who knows?